Welcome back guys, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TCG Worlds 2018. We are actually on our final trek for Worlds, which is pretty cool. Um, we're almost, almost there. And, um, I don't know, it's been a long road. It's gonna be over 200 episodes of Road to TCG Worlds 2018. Um, almost one daily. Ever since the season started, but um, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with how things have turned out. So, um, realgames.ca, thank you so much for choosing to use your Twitch Prime on the stream. Thank you so, so much and welcome to the table community or table family or however however you guys want to see it. So, um, Tor Dreklev did it again or almost did it again. It's incredible. Um, he created a new Zorg deck and he almost won the tournament again. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Tord is just gonna marry Zorg in the future. Um, but this deck, it has Zorg, but it plays out more like a type of male deck, I would say. Um, you have the 4 4 Zorg line, 210 HP, ability trade, discard a card, draw two. And then Righteous Beating deals 120 damage for each of your Pokemon in play. Uh, we don't even have Choice Band in this deck in order to increase that damage output. Um, however, Sombra, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> you just want to be higher than Hal, so <laughs> thank you so much. Um, so you do have Mew EX as an attacker to be able to deal with Puzzle potentially. Um, we have four Tabo Lele for maximum consistency, but in the end we have Research Management or Angura. And I'm generally surprised this card does, is not a two copies because the deck seems to rely heavily on it. Um, Research Management allows you to put three cards from your discard pile to the bottom of your deck in any order. So, um, yes, double got faded. <laughs> Please be, please keep the stream uh, PG-13. I actually had so many parents um, this weekend tell me that they appreciate that my content is uh, kid-friendly and I want to keep it that way. <laughs> um, and Ruben, thank you so much for being here. Sorry, sorry it took me a while to come back. It's just I had so much coaching to do and I had... And thank you, so, wow, thank you so much for the 600 bits. What a comeback you made. Thank you so much. Um, I, I was just super busy prepping for NAIC and so much coaching and everything. I just didn't have enough time to stream. But I'm back and no more tournaments until Worlds, which is six weeks away. So it should be um, a pretty consistent um, six weeks of streaming, I'm hoping. So as I was saying, Research Management or Anguru, the basis of the deck, because you're playing so many Research Denial cards, such as an Ends Hammer, such as Delinquent, such as Team Flurgrunt, that um, you want to use uh, Research Management to keep putting those back and literally um, out-resource your opponent. That's the whole idea. And then the Attack Profound Knowledge is also pretty decent, dealing 60 damage and confusing your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, so that's it for Pokemon, and then for Supporters we have as I mentioned, um, uh, consistency with Triple Bridget, Triple Kuzma, Triple N, and then for uh, other drawing purposes or consistency purposes, we have the one Sycamore, the one Mallow, and the one Cynthia. Now we do have Israela for healing, and we also have the Linquent in order to discard cards from your opponent's hand, and also Team Flurgrunt to discard energy from the active Pokemon. Now aside from that, we have the four Ultra and four. Um, Puzzle of Time, which are pretty standard in Zoric decks. And um, we have Triple Enhanced Hammer to go with the Flare Grunt in order to deny um, energy. We have Triple Level Soda to make sure that we get our Zoraks into play as soon as possible. We have Double Counter Catcher because um, they're almost as good or even better sometimes than Guzma. We have two Max Potion to deny resources from our opponents. We have two Field or to deny KOs rather from our opponents. We have two field lower to make sure that we have abilities activated. And then finally, we have two Battle CD to uh, mess with the bench. We have one Reverse Valley so that we hit for 130 damage. We have one Floatstone to potentially retreat. 
And finally, double weakness policy in order to combat puzzle decks. Um, four DCs round out the deck, and the whole idea is to you have all these research um, research denial cards, and you try to out research your opponent. And as soon as we get into a game, especially against another Zorak deck, you'll be able to see how exactly the deck works. Um, so. Uh, Henry, when will I do another Pokedex series? On Friday. Friday we will finally be doing the last of the Pokedex. And Shower Handle, thank you so much for the 15 bits. Thank you so much for the 15 bits. Very kind of you. Um, and so yeah, next Friday we will do the Pokedex series and we will be finally finishing Kanto. The Kanto Pokedex. And I'm Rob Rodriguez. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for choosing to use your Twitch Prime. Thank you so, so much. Very, very kind of you. Uh, do you think this version of Zorak is better than Zoropod? I mean, it plays out very differently than Zoropod, I would say. Um, I think if Zoropod adds Zorank Guru, uh, it would make the matchup quite even, potentially uh, unfinishable. And we're up against Zorogarb. Uh, so this was the finals of NAIC matchup, and it seems like um, uh, it seems like Tord had a very rough time uh, beating this deck. So I would not be surprised if um, we ended up losing. Of course. What do you think are the, are the top three Zorak variants? I mean, in terms of results, it has to be Zorak Arb, this one, and Zoropod. Um, I feel like this deck surprise factor plays in big time. Um, I think Zorogarb should lose to Zoropod and Zoro Lycanroc most of the time. I don't know. I mean, based on results, Zorogarb is the best one, right? Just based on the latest results, but I, it's the one I'm the least fan of, honestly. Definitely the one I'm the least fan of. Okay, so we see Bridget on turn one. Okay, and Slowpeak, thank you so much for choosing to use your Twitch Prime subscription as well. Thank you guys so much. It's very, very appreciated. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much. Uh, Zoro Garb with weakness policy. I mean, Zoro Garb with weakness policy, without weakness policy, made it all the way to the final, right? So I don't think that's gonna, that's what it needs to, to become the best one. Okay, I did go 20 IC. I'm Rob Rodriguez. I just didn't do very well. I mean, I did okay. 5 3 1. I lost the bad matchups that I got. It happens, right? Um, is our control going to last or is it a meta call that worked that one time? Um, I feel like it's more of a meta call, honestly. Um,. Like, I do like it, it's just, it just seems like, oh my gosh. I mean, what a hand for my opponent. Um, I feel like there's definitely ways to play around it. And I feel like if Zoro, if Bozo Lagenrock just starts playing Field Blower, it'll be fine. And it'll still be a very bad matchup. Oh boy, this was a very bad turn two for us. Um, my opponent not only managed to... Uh, set up two Zoraks, he also set up Carbotoxin, he knocked out my Zerua, found the double Floatstone. Oh well. So I think I'll weakness policy the Lele, which obviously seems redundant. Um, but we're not gonna attack this turn. We are not going to attack this turn. Okay, and then we pass. 
Uh, Buzzrock definitely needs Blower now. Um, you think Evil Doll could be really good in Seniors? Um, yeah, I mean, Quad Koopa could be really good in Seniors overall. Um, James, este fin de vas a jugar en Valencia. Eh, sí, sí, claro, <ríe> claro que me acuerdo. Eh, yo te recomendaría llevar eh, Zoropod o Zoro Garb quizás. Eh, o una lista de Boswell Garb Holder también me parece buena. Um, there was a Shining Lugia deck, indeed. And yes, I will be playing the top 8 Evil Tall Break deck tomorrow. Um, not today. And the Shining Lugia deck, I'll take a look at it, but I don't think I'll be playing it anytime soon. Okay, so I find a Floatstone, I top deck a Floatstone, I also get that. So now I need DCE. Okay, so the DC helps and pressuring. I could just effectively remove the Carpenter, which could be pretty good, honestly. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. And should I max potion? I feel like I should max potion to prevent the two free prizes for my opponent. And I'll write just bidding. I'm guaranteed to have a uh, trade next turn, which is great, right? And I should be able to outheal my opponent. The issue is the trash lynch garb. Um, what about delinquent in Zoro garb? Yeah, I mean delinquent in Zoro garb made uh, made it all the way to top four. I'm Rob Rodriguez, no lo sé, la verdad, es, es difícil saber porque falta la nueva expansión y luego sale el mini set de dragones. Es difícil saber, falta mucho para la rotación y todavía falta el mundial. Entonces la verdad es que ni he pensado en la rotación todavía. Um, and Gumi Gamer, it's not going to be today, but I could consider uh, using the Shining Lugi attack at different day, just not today. Yeah. Um, and Double Cafe, I didn't get any points actually uh, for it, for the international, so definitely don't have those yet. Um, like, I mean, I definitely won't have them, but I think it would just be all about being patient. I think they took down their rankings, I believe. Uh, like, they're gonna finalize their rankings for Worlds, so I think they took them down for now. One, two, three, okay, four item cards so far, so nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, okay, I feel like I'm going to trade away the end here. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> you did not sound like that whatsoever. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and ace Rola. I'm not going to use my last trade. And then I feel like I should deny the energy here. And I will hit for 120. I am using quite a few item cards here though, which is very scary. Eh, <laughs> ¿Qué tal manchas? ¿Cómo vas? Muchas gracias por pasarte, aunque sea un poquito. Um, yeah, but Scarp was heavily played. It just didn't uh, go through. And no worries, I'm Robert Rodriguez. And thank you so much, manchas. Thank you so much for the bits, very, very kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. Okay, I assume that's a double puzzle being played. No reason not to do that. Um, Enhanced Hammer and Acerola, exactly the cards that I was going to try and go for. Um, Acerola is fine. I think it's, this is where my Guru will potentially shine. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six item cards already. So we're gonna see the hit here which is fine. 
Um, the tournament was so unforgiving indeed. <laughs> And hello to you guys, thanks so much for being here. Eh, James, te recomiendo que mires las listas que hicieron top 8 en el internacional. Y cualquiera de esas, la verdad es que son muy, muy buenas opciones. Eh, ok, so I'm going to start trading a Kuzma. And I don't want to trade or Guru. I'll have to trade an ultra roll. This is the thing though, like you run out of things to trade that are not item cards. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is where I would want an end though. Oh. So many item cards. Okay. This parallel is actually pretty okay. I would say. Um... <laughs> Indeed, I'm Robert Rodriguez. It's definitely not an easy career path being a Mexican streamer and a professional trading card game player, but giving it my all. And it's thanks to people like you that I can do what I can do. Um, I mean, if I eliminate that Trubbish, I would be pretty safe from Trash and Lunch. So I think that's my play here. Um, I will double puzzle here. I didn't get a DC, which is very sad. Um, I mean, does it matter what I get? I think I'll grab the Acerola. And then I'm gonna Kuzma knock out the Trubbish. I'm gonna Kuzma knock out the Trubbish here. Um, yep. Ah, uh, yes, this is a tour deck from the latest international championship from North America. It is indeed. Um, ¿Te parece buen mazo de Bosol con Bosol GX y Artillery? Sí, James, definitivamente me parece un muy buen mazo. There's a Gartana, which is very, very annoying. There's a Field Blower, which is fine. Like, three Trubbishes in the discard pile is pretty good for us. They just not finding the DCs in time here. And there's a Guzma. Still one Pokemon short, though. So he's gonna have the Choice Man, or he's, yeah, he has the Choice Man. That's okay. That's okay, I feel. Uh, do you think this is one of the most boring metas with Zorak GX being so broken? No, I don't think so. I mean, every meta has its thing. I don't think this one is uh, any any more boring or not than the next one. So, no, generally no. Uh, okay, so I, I think I can go a bit lax on my item cards now. As long as I go after the Trubbish, I should be okay here. I definitely don't need the Mew. A Max Potion would be better on the Rolla last turn? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably would have been better. Um, how do I not have a DCE though? There's two left. There's one prize. That's the issue. That is the issue. Okay, I'll get rid of the end. <sighs> I really don't want a double puzzle for the DCE, but I don't have a choice here. I just don't have a choice. I just played just the one field lower. Okay, I'm definitely playing this on the active. Definitely playing this on the active as well. I might have to use Orang Guru this turn. I think now is when I go Orang Guru. So I'll get rid of his energy. Okay, so I'm gonna try to run my opponent out of resources. And I'll bring up the Cartana. That seems fine. 
I'll do this. And then I shall resource management. And I'm gonna put back double puzzle. Ooh, and the stretcher. The stretcher gets me back rank, ooh, and that's pretty good. Yep. Okay. Eh, sí debía haber tomado la max potion. Sí debía haber tomado la max potion, definitivamente. Max potion would have been better, guys. I agree. Max potion would have been better. Um. Okay. Lots of trading for my opponent, that's fine. Rescue stretcher. Yeah, FBL is forbidden light. How many DC and puzzle of time has opponent used? He has used two puzzles and three DCs. Two puzzles and three DCs. Uh, who do you think is the best player to coach me with Zoro Garb? Like the one who has the most experience with it. Um, probably one of the French, French players, Fabien Pujol, Stefan. Probably one of those. And Mr. Rayleigh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for subscribing. There we go. Finally, we got the, the notification. And okay, so my opponent um, decided to use the GX attack. That's completely fine. Uh, let's keep trading here. Maybe bringing out by Cortana was not the greatest idea, but it's fine. I'll trade away the Cynthia. Okay, I feel like I should be able to out resource my opponent here. As long as I as long as I don't mess this up, I should be able to do it. And hello Drakes, hello Nine Out of Ben. Thanks thank you guys so much for being here. I'll deny the energy as well, just to make sure that he doesn't Kale Blade. Um and then I will definitely attach energy and then I will resource management. So I'm gonna put back the other two puzzles and what else? Probably a hammer. Like as long as I deny enough energy, I should be good here. Uh, does Fabian or Stefan do coaching? I have no idea, honestly, um, but I'm sure through Twitter you could ask them. Uh, maybe they would be interested. I generally don't know if they do coaching or not. Okay, double, double Trubbish is pretty scary. He got those back with the Rescue Stretcher. There's a DCE. Are we gonna see a Guzma here? And then trades, huh. Okay, there are too many item cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven item cards so far. Um, did you have any page for see the deck list? Limitless TCG dot com should have everything. Um, and I mean it depends on the coach, Gummy Gamer. But for me, yeah, the PTCGO account is pretty important. Um, okay. So it decides to hit me. So I know out of the six cards that I have, most of them are puzzles, right? We know most of them are puzzles of time. Uh, two puzzles, okay. So what I need to do is I need to heal, I need to end. 
And I need to KO a Travish, I think. Okay, there's a double puzzle. So let me think this through. Double puzzle, I have this, this to KO one Travish. And then this for the energy. That's pretty good. Um, so double puzzle for N and Enhanced Hammer. Okay, or I can do this first. Let's do this first before I do anything else. Before I do anything, anything else. I hope he gets rid of a Trubbish. No, he gets rid of a Zorg. Okay, that makes sense. So now we need him to not get uh, Trash Challenge plus one unit energy. I guess the the DC is not that important though. I mean, getting rid of the DC is not that important, but I'll I'll still do it. I'll still do it this way. Okay, so counter catcher. And Sky, thanks so much for the follow. I will heal. And I will attach. I will hammer. And I will and my opponent down to two cards. Okay, so I shouldn't trade anymore. I'll just take the KO here. It's gonna be a tough ending to the series though. But as long as I can knock out the other Trubbish, I think I should be okay, I think. I think, because he's also not gonna be able to one-shot Doran Guru, which is pretty big. Um. And Star Me, hello, thanks so much for being here. Uh NAC was pretty fun. It was a lot a lot of fun. Uh just not great in terms of the tournament results. Um Um Do I think Ray is going to be good for worlds? Potentially. I generally haven't been able to test. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I opened off of the N2-2, got Floatstone, Trash Alange, and Lele? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah. Wow. That was ridiculous. That was actually ridiculous. Um, that was actually ridiculous, but oh well, I mean, it's a bad matchup, right? We had a chance, it's a bad matchup, uh, ending my opponent to perfect hands is my thing, I guess, right? <laughs> um, what do you think of the upcoming Nakanadel stack attack attack? It's potentially going to be very cool, it's just, uh not super consistent it's gonna lose to parallel cd it's gonna lose to low card ends so it'd probably be better after rotation just not for worlds just definitely not for worlds oh my gosh this might be a mirror match guys this might actually be a mirror match um did i end up having the mac and cheese from the barbecue restaurant no ray um that that restaurant I talked about was in Hartford, Connecticut, not at Columbus, Ohio. And yeah, Star Me, sorry, I was all over the place, honestly. I was all over the place at NAC. Um, I ran into so many people, just maybe not everyone that I would have wanted to, but it was a crazy, crazy weekend. Um, he went to this awesome Dala Empanada. <laughs> Um, I mean, I assume they sell empanadas. Sounds sounds like my sort of food. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have Wanzaru apprised. I'm not gonna go for Oranguri just yet. I think I'll just pass here. Um, <laughs> why would you end him into all those nice cards? I know, right? I know. What was I thinking? Such a big misplay. <laughs> okay, so Zoropod. It's not a mirror match. It's Zoropod. Okay, so not ideal, 
right? Not ideal to go for Zork here. However, um, I do want to get a KO here. I do want to get a KO. The question is, what do I trade? I think the Stretcher is the card that I'm going to trade. Um, okay, so Delinquent is nice to have, which is not great quite yet. Um, I guess I am unintentionally playing around Parallel City to a certain extent. Um, Mofongo? What's Mofongo? Um, eh, pues sí. Pero al final necesitaba deshacerme de esos Trubish, James. Necesitaba deshacerme de esos Trubish. Más que otra cosa, porque ya con el deck tan pequeño, eh, con doble trade, eventualmente iba a encontrar el cargador. Ok, so my opponent whiffs the Zork, clearly by his um, sad face. Um, you were at 5-2 before running into Alex Shemansky, that's pretty good. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty sad for the puzzle. Sorry that happened. Match fried plantain. Oh, that sounds amazing. I love plantains. I actually love plantains. Okay. So, um, my opponent found a hammer and a counter catcher. Uh, I think I'll. No, I don't want to trade a Zerl against Zorobad. I mean, I do have a Ranguru, but yeah, I'll trade a Zerla. And yes, this game tries to do matchmaking through through ELO. That is how the game tries to do matchmaking. Okay, I'll lose a delinquent, I guess. Um, that is how the game tries to do. Uh, there's a hidden ELO ranking. I'm Robert Rodriguez. And yeah, it's different for every for every ladder, I believe. Okay, I think I can trade the weakness policy, obviously. Yeah, it's hidden. Um, okay. Parallel's pretty good here. Denies the Latios, but the important thing is, like, I play Parallel before he does. And if he's playing Jimmy Pendarvis' list with Dribble Parallel, I'm glad I'm the one that gets it down first. Just getting 480 and the kill. Okay, there's another attempt at a Zorak. There's Evo Soda to guarantee. Oh, every ladder besides Steam. Okay. I didn't know that. Okay, field lowers my parallel as expected, right? As expected. As you guys can see, I cut my hair. I really needed a haircut. <laughs> and David Allen, thanks so much for being here. I actually don't know if you have the same ELO for all the ladders or for different ladders, but... Okay, so... Let's trade first, right? That's our number one goal, trading first. 
Uh, the hammer is pretty good. We have the extra Pokemon. So I'll discard the reverse Bally. It just, I'd only had to hit for at least a hundred. And there's a TCU, which is pretty nice. Um, so I'll trade the Ultra Ball. Why not? Uh, why not? Okay, perfect. So I will do this. And then I think I'm going to heal to prevent the Gale. I do lose the TCU, which sucks, but it's okay, I guess. And then I will bench the Oranku. Should I play the other Pearl CD though? There's one Field Lord down and only four cards. So I think I will. I think I am going to do it. Um, We're trying to build this deck, but you only have three Tapu Lele. Um, what could be a good extra card? An extra Easter all that could be a good addition. Um, a fourth Bridget could also be pretty good. Um, okay, immediate Field Lore. Immediate field lower, immediate max potion too. Um, what do you think the best Zorak variant going into Worlds? Um, I mean, results wise, apparently it's Zorogarb or this deck. Um, I definitely prefer Zorogarb and Zorolak, and they're much more my own personal playstyle. Um, but I mean, Twitch, his or her own, right? I don't think there's a there's a there's an answer to that. It all depends on who, on what you end up playing against on day one, or at, on the rounds. I mean, so I don't think there's a right or wrong answer to that question. Like, I don't think there's a best, a, a better or worse version. <laughs> Zorua and Hammer, interesting. That's a pretty good double puzzle for us. Um, because we should be able to out heal my opponent, and that's pretty clutch. And then with Orange Guru, we should be able to out resource. Uh, James, <laughs> muchas gracias, que descanses. Que descanses. Um, okay, so let's trade away the Evo Soda. Clearly, we don't need that. Let's see. The Mallow is very nice. Let's straight away. One counter catcher because we're not gonna be falling behind, I don't think. There's that. That's pretty good. And then let's straight away a field lore. And there you go, Joe Bro. <laughs> Thank you so much for resubscribing. Um, okay, so I messed this up. I should have saved the Mallow for Max Potion. Oops. Oopsies. Uh, that was very silly. I got I, I got into automatic pilot mode. I should have mallowed for max potion. Or at the very least a floatstone. Okay, this was bad. This was actually pretty bad of me to do. Um, I'll do that and then I'm gonna third grunt the energy and I'll head for a hundred. <laughs> no <but then>, uh. <laughs> okay, no, that was not very good for me though. That was not very good. I definitely misplayed that. Oh, leads with puzzle. Leads with puzzle. Interesting. Double puzzle, obviously. Yeah, max potion and DC. That's fine. No more double puzzles for my opponent, which is great. No more double puzzles for him, which is great. There's a DC. Like, we still have all four puzzles. That's insane in this matchup. We have such a big advantage right there. And, like, if you're, if his plan... I thought he was going to end or something. But if your plan is to just... If you're not going to end or Cynthia, you should never trade or use cards first, like, hit it before trading. There's no reason to do that. Absolutely no reason. And just like no reason for me not to mallow. <laughs> no reason for me not to mallow here. Okay, so should I mallow now? That's the question. Should I actually mallow now? 
two field blowers down. I could mallow for like double puzzle for a parallel plus a DCE and then put the puzzles back. I feel like that's my best play here because I do have the enhanced hammer, which is very nice. Um, so I'm going to trade once. I'm going to trade the Sycamore. And now I'm going to mallow for the other puzzle piece, which as we can see, one is priced. Or did I already use one up? No, we have one puzzle piece priced. And this seems like a good idea just for the follow up. Well, no, that's the that's my opponent's last TC, right? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, so I'll keep this then. I shall keep this. Okay. And hello, Tama Drummer. Thanks so much for being here. Um, how many ends have I played? None. Okay, so I'll trade the end. Welcome back, Tama Drummer. Okay, so then DC and parallel. Parallel, DC. Wow, all four DCs are gone. So I know what I'm putting back. I'm putting back double puzzle and another DC for sure. He discards the Laylist here. That's completely okay. Completely okay. <laughs> very nice, Tama Drummer. Very nice. Very, very nice. Resource management for double puzzle and DC. Okay, perfect. Okay, so hopefully this will be enough to have. If Oranguru survives this turn, we are in a great position. Lodestone. Okay, so Oranguru is not gonna survive. Oranguru definitely not surviving. My opponent immediately has a field blower yet again. Oh boy. And Tama Drummer, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the extra bits. Wow, can you guys hear the rain? The sky is falling right now. The sky is falling like insanely so much okay so we get one puzzle piece that's nice um, there's the first grass energy which is annoying Ooh, discards and energy that's actually good news that is actually good news this is such a passive deck though i'm not a big fan of that I'm not a big fan of how passive this deck is, but oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna play down the Lele to thin. I really need double puzzle here, and I'll thin out the Bridget. I'll thin out the Bridget. Um, I would love to find my rescue stretcher, which I'll reuse, so never mind. And then I'll trade this. And okay, so we do get double puzzle. However, what do I even get here? I need to, when I double puzzle, I need to use Oranguru on that same turn. So I think I just pass here, unfortunately. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> that sucks, Tama Drummer. I guess you guys do have quite a big... Um, like hurricane season and stuff okay we might lose a tapu lele here i am completely okay with that i am actually completely okay with that um uh, playing down there and guru is actually very very scary here though it is now very very scary that's the last dc though which is good news that's the last absolute last dc I could have used Flurgrunt, yes, I could have used Flurgrunt. Um, I'm not doing Fewer Battles King buff, that's for Fridays. That is for Fridays, okay. Okay, three, that's the last easy, no more puzzles either. 
Okay, so I don't need to do this, right? Um, I guess I should be trading first. Um, I'll trade an N. I need to. I I feel like I there should be a way for me to secure this game. I just don't know exactly what it is just yet. I feel like getting rid of the N. Yeah. What time am I streaming on Friday? Probably around 12 uh, CFT. Okay. <sighs> this is really bad. Okay, I definitely do this. And then I think my play here. If my opponent has two float stones and another grass. Well, if my opponent has two float stones, I lose. I believe. So I think I just pass again. I think I'll just pass. I don't want to win by knocking out his Kalissa bud. Catcher plus Grunt plus Hammer seems okay, yes. Um, he's playing down basics. He plays down parallel, that's fine. He's playing down cards, which is great. How many ends does he even have? He's played two Guzma so far. Oh, there's, a, there's a second float. That's what I was scared. If I had gone for Anguru right here, I would have lost the game. If I had gone for Anguru, I would have immediately lost the game. So I will definitely heal. Do I have field lower left? No, I do not. Okay, so now I think I go for the Oranguru. Because the, the Golisopod is active. And his other Golisopod's on the bench. So if he Guzmas, he can't he doesn't attack the Oranguru. Oh, but in order for me to retreat into the Oranguru. Oh my gosh. How do I even win this game? I think I get rid of the Evo Soda. I know I have a DC because I put one back. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna double puzzle for Oranguru and Floatstone. Yeah, because I can't. If he Guzmas, I can't let him Guzma attack the Oranguru. That's the issue. So I needed the float. I needed the float. And. I mean, I'm putting three cards back, so I don't need to trade. Okay, so resource management. Definitely double puzzle. And definitely DC. I feel like I should have the game here. I'm going to run my opponent out of cards. I'm going to deck him out. I'm going to end up decking my opponent out. Okay, the enhanced hammer no longer relevant because we do have extra puzzle pieces. And he's gonna hit me for 30, right? So all I need is to get back like double puzzles, make sure I zero light, don't mess this up. I should be able to deck my opponent out. Yeah, so denying the energy off of the Golisopod on the bench is not was not the best idea, especially because we've only seen one grass, so my opponent could potentially like we can't assume his last grass is the last prize card either. So let's trade Zork. And I don't need to trade anymore. So let's double puzzle. For a DC. Right? And for what else? What else could I possibly need here? I get a field lower to remove his um, his float stone. By removing the float stone, I make it so that he can't Kuzma do something weird. And oh, the Prowl Seed is actually great because then he only deals 10 damage. <laughs> the Prowl Seed is actually insane. 
Um, so yeah, resource management. Double puzzle. And I only have a DC right there. So let's put back a max potion. Why not? Yeah, this seems okay. This deck is definitely expert level, as you guys said. This is um, pretty big. Like, it, your win condition is not taking prizes most of the time. Okay. So I assume he has another N. No, he doesn't have Ns. He might have a Cynthia, but that's okay because it's eight cards. So we just delay the deck out by one card. So we should be good here, guys. We actually should be good. I would, I could even attack with Oranguru at this point. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and Team Flare Grunt. But yeah, it's not a fun deck to play, I would say. It's not a fun deck to play. And like playing it at a best of one leak up would be would be a bad idea, I would say. Uh, I mean I can counter catcher, yeah. No, I don't want to counter catcher. What do I even get? I don't need anything else. I mean I can't get the rescue stretcher, just put back the Zorak line, make a hundred percent sure that I'm not gonna take myself out. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's put these back. Uh, Pablo Kazam. <laughs> and then resource management. Double puzzle. And what else? A DC, I would say. I mean, it's probably not important at this point. We're not gonna lose by deck out. My opponent has no way to attack us again. IQ level, all I guess. <laughs> Indeed. Um, delinquent. That is completely okay. That is completely, completely okay. Like we, it's completely okay, right? It's completely okay for us to lose that, um, those cards at this point. Um, just trade the Lele. Hello, Kitty the Pizza. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Um, so double puzzle for what? Like, I don't even need to double puzzle anymore at this point. Just waiting for my opponent to... To lose, honestly. I guess I can do this. Yeah, I can do this. Delinquent plus parallel. And yeah, that works. Time a drummer, that works. Yeah, it's definitely not the best deck. <laughs> Remind me who you are, Kida Pizza, because I don't think you told me your online username. Um, and then Delinquent loses three cards. So even if he has Cynthia, then that's game. Because he decks out. Very stubborn opponent though. <laughs> Very stubborn opponent. I didn't mess this up, right? Oh, maybe benching the Zerua. No, there's no way he can retreat at this point. There's no way he can retreat. There's no way he plays triple floatstone, right? No way. Please don't tell me you play triple floatstone opponent. Please don't tell me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, double puzzle and a DC. Why not? Surprise Karen, <laughs> that would be sad. Surprise uh, Superod. Even if he has a grass. He would need another Golisabud. He would need Stretcher, Grass, Golisabud. 
My opponent would need Stretcher, Grass Call is a put to win this game. Did Zygarde GX make an appearance? As far as I could tell, no, Tama Drummer. As far as I could tell, no. Zygarde GX did not make an appearance. And yeah, this has been a very long game. This has been a very, very, very long game. Okay. Wait, what? No. Third floatstone. Third floatstone. Uh. Oh. Oh my gosh, I could have sworn he had the third floatstone. <laughs> I could have sworn he had the third blowstone right there. I was like, no way. No way. I definitely misplayed there, though. I should not have finished that Zerua. That was unnecessary. That was unnecessary for me to do. That was unnecessary for me to do. Uh, like, I opened up a window to where if the guy's playing an out of the norm a list, I would have lost right there. So. <sighs> That was very intense, guys. That was actually very <laughs> intense. Uh, but GG to, to Manuel. Um, how did Zorgar play for you? It played okay. Um, we lost a match that we... Like, the matchup that you want to hit with against Necrozma. Um, we lost that one, which was very sad. Um, but the deck plays out pretty nicely. Um, what are your thoughts on Rayquaza GX going into Worlds? I think it's... Going to be a very good play, but also um, easily countered by Sylvia in the X, and that's pretty scary. Um, yeah, I mean, he taught us something, right? I should not have benched this Zerua. I'd open up a win condition for my opponent that I could have, like, there was no need for me to bench this Zerua. So I should not have, um, I should not have done that. Uh, but anyways, guys. This will be all for the Tord Zorak deck. Um, if you guys enjoyed and are watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And if you are watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere. Now we're going to move on to Zoropod, one of the decks that um, has been a fan favorite of the channel, a, fa a favorite of mine. Um, I didn't choose to use it at any IC. Uh, maybe I should have, maybe I shouldn't have. I generally don't think my six, my first six rounds in which I got eliminated would have played out differently. So I don't think uh, which deck I played would have mattered. But anyways, uh, don't go anywhere guys, I will be right.